Oh, oh my goodness, man. The trade is one for one. The Ottawa Senators and the Minnesota Wild have just swapped goaltenders, and I'm honestly... Okay, this is tough to really, like, fully absorb, because without the context, this trade seems really bad. Like, this is not a good trade when it comes to the value of asset A versus the value of asset B. If you're ignoring everything else that went around regarding the entire situation with the Minnesota Wild and Flurry and the goaltenders and the comments that were made, etc., etc. So, just a few minutes ago, we had, it was uh, Frank Saravelli, actually, I believe, yeah. He was the first one to break this 12 minutes ago, saying that the Wild have traded goaltender Cam Talbot, and he followed up a minute later saying that Talbot was sent over to Ottawa. Before we go over everything and the trade itself, let's go over Talbot just so Sens fans know who they're getting in their system. 35 years old, 6'4", 196 as a left-handed catch and goaltender. He's got one more year left at $3.6 million a season. Now Talbot, with all things considered, was a pretty good goalie last year. He had a 9-11 save percentage at 276 goals against in 49 games played for the Wild. He is following up a 9-15 save percentage in 2020-2021 and a 9-19 save percentage with the Flames in 2019-20. He also was a great goaltender the past two years in the postseason, posting up back-to-back 9-2-3 plus seasons. Now, last year, he didn't play in the playoffs all too much. He only played one game. He had an 8-4-6 save percentage and a 4-1-4 in that one game. He came in for relief as Marc-Andre Fleury was traded over to Minnesota, and they gave Fleury the starting job. Nowadays, heading into 2022-2023, there was somewhat of a controversy as to who would be the main guy in Minnesota. Everybody kind of said, okay, because Fleury got re-signed to that contract extension with a no-move clause, you're probably going to see Cam Talbot and Fleury battle it back and forth. This is not really the ideal situation for Talbot, as the guy is 35 years old, and we had some comments made by his agent that were just kind of saying, okay, look, like... Talbot was the guy, and Talbot was expecting to be the guy, and now he's not going to be the guy because there's another guy that is as good as Talbot is here, and it's not really like Talbot was all too bad anyway when he was the guy earlier on for Minnesota. It's just the Wilds see something in Marc-Andre Fleury that they liked, and they decided to roll with him in the postseason. Now he gets traded over to Ottawa in a one-for-one -one trade for Philip Gustafson. Now, Gustafson is not on the same caliber of talent as Talbot is. Gustafson is 24 years old, so he's a lot younger. 6'2", 183, a left-handed catch and goaltender as well, making $787,000 till the end of 2023. This is a pretty big cap savings move for the Minnesota Wild, and Gustafson is likely going to come over and be the backup on that squad. Take a look at Gustafson's recent resume of work. He had an 892 save percentage and a 355 goals against in 18 games played for the Ottawa Senators this year. However, he was a good goaltender in the Belleville Senators system, posting up a 915 and a 250 goals against in 20 games. A few years ago, though, in 2020-2021, he actually was really good for Ottawa when he made his debut with that squad, getting a 933 save percentage in 9 games played then. It was around this time in 2020-2021-ish when people started to see Philip Gustafson as a very legit goaltending prospect. Now, of course, this recent season, he didn't really showcase all too well, but then again, the Senators had a very weird goaltender carousel going around, and plus, they weren't really all too great of a team anyway, so I can't really blame anybody, especially those who are 24, 23 years old. By the way, he just turned 24, so he actually was 23 for the majority of that stint for getting numbers like that in the first place. He was drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins back in 2016, was sent over to Ottawa in... What the heck was the trade? Okay, I'm curious now. Let's go ahead and scroll down and see what that trade was, which sent Philip Gustafson from Pittsburgh over to Ottawa. It does not ring a bell so far. Ian Cole, that's what it was. Yeah, the Gustafson-Ian Cole draft picks trade. Yeah, I totally did not not know that before recording this video. But either way... Philip Gustafson is the new Minnesota Wild backup, presumably, and Cam Talbot is a huge upgrade for Ottawa over Matt Murray. That is probably the biggest thing that the Ottawa Senators are gaining here. Sure, they retained some salary on Matt Murray when he got sent over to Toronto, but 
They freed up $4.6 million because that contract is going over to the Maple Leafs. Now they're using that same money and a little bit less at that to get a goaltender you could debate is better than Matt Murray in Cam Talbot right here. The summer of Dorian continues, my friends. What a trade right here. Let's go over onto what Pierre Lebrun said about this entire thing before we end off the video. Despite Talbot's obvious disappointment last week, I did not see this particular trade coming, I must admit. This is a beautiful trade for the Ottawa Senators. For the Minnesota Wild, I mean, you're replacing a guy that was unhappy with a guy that will probably grow into something more in the next few years, which is something that Cam Talbot does not have the benefit of being able to do. But all in all, when it comes to asset for asset, value to value here, Ottawa, you guys won this trade. Talk to the comments about your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.